I'm going to check to see if a particular property or method exists inside of my object. Down here I've got a basic object called my object. It's got one property, the value of substring. And I'm going to use the in operator to look in my object for the property key number. I'll do that using an if else statement. This condition here is currently evaluating to false because the key number property is not inside of my object, so it does not exist inside of my object. When I run this, it's going to display the message. Now it's not in there because it's going to skip this portion of code, jump down into the else portion, and display that message. If it was true, it would jump right into the next line, which would be this one here. We'll see that here in just a moment. So I'm going to run this and it displays, nah, it's not in there because this evaluates to false. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the key number property in there. Give it a value so that now when I run this, it's going to display the message, yeah, it's in there. So I run it and it displays, yeah, it's in there. I can do the same thing for a method. I'm going to go ahead and search for a method, see if that's in my object so that when I run that, it's going to evaluate to false because the method is not in there and it's going to display the message, nah, it's not in there. So I'm going to run it and it displays, nah, it's not in there. I'm going to go ahead and create that method now. So a method, pass that empty function and then run it. So it now displays, yeah, it's in there because the condition evaluates to true. There's another way to do this. I'm going to comment out this code. I'm going to type in if reference my object. And I'm going to search for the method. And the rest of the code is going to be the same as the code before it. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Bring this back a bit. So that when I run this, this will evaluate to true and it will display the message alert. Yeah, it's in there. Let's run it. And it displays, yeah, it's in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete a method and then run it again. And it displays, nah, it's not in there. So what's happening here is because the method does not exist inside of my object, it is returning undefined. So what this winds up looking like is undefined. So saying if undefined is not equal to undefined, then run, nah, it's not in there. So I'm going to go ahead and run that again. And it shows, nah, it's not in there. Now if it's in there, essentially what it's doing is it's recognizing that it is defined so you get something like this um, and so since defined is not equal to undefined that is true and so that's why we see this first message here alert yeah it's in there turn that back now objects can inherit properties from other objects um, and so we can use the has own property method uh, to check whether the object has a property unique to that object. So I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. And so what we have here is going to be alert my object. And I'm going to use has own property here. Pass in the property or method that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in a method. And since we have it in there, this will evaluate to true. That's what we'll display up here. So we get true. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Run it. It evaluates to false. Oftentimes this will be used for conditions so that if it does exist, um, do something. Or if it doesn't exist, go ahead and do something else. Uh, sort of like what we saw over here.